Alright inner tubes, here we are. Our first two up ride. This is different spokes on the back. She is reporting the bike is as comfortable as a bagger. It almost feels like a bagger. Almost feels like one of those giant gold wings. They can't hear you, Brooke. Only I can hear you. So we're just on a ride with a buddy of ours. I'll uh, refer to him as Epic OG. This man has been on a motorcycle since he's been walking. And he's ridden every kind of motorcycle. And he's ridden just about every MotoGP track. He rides off-road, he rides on the track, and currently he's on his Ducati Scrambler. And uh, just chilling behind us. Do a little dip through a nice little scenic area. And then get out of town and uh, go do what bikers do best. Get coffee. Get coffee and stare at our bikes in front of the coffee shop bike is cruising along. I don't even notice Brooke on the back. That's how uh, this bike's heavy and so steady that two up is pretty much like one up. Take this and well, it's a little salty here. This is a fun little dip here. We used to come down here the other way on our bikes with our club and race each other up this hill. Now we're going down the hill the other way. We'd get a big old run. Yeah, uh, slow it down here. You can see, the thing that Toronto does is Toronto puts a whole bunch of salt on the road and uh, in the less traveled roads, it doesn't really get washed away or carried away by the cars. And then that stuff gets on your car and eats it up. So we're going up to Stouffville. It's a town, all right, it's a town. Um, it's got a nice coffee shop called For the Love of Joe. Make this epic OG, I'm sure is gonna make it. Maybe not. Crap. I think I made uh, epic OG run a light there. That's not very good group riding etiquette. That's your name. Epic OG. Epic OG. Uh, uh, so original, original gangster. And this inner tubes is as far as I have to go to motorcycle out of the city. This is pretty much the de facto city limit here. I do feel heat coming up from the engine. It's a big air-cooled engine and uh, you know on a day like this it's really nice to feel that heat. But on a day where but on a day when it's 35 degrees, it might not be so nice. By 35 degrees, I mean 35 Celsius for all my American friends. Ooh, nice. It's beautiful down there. Be careful on these wet roads here. They don't dry that well with the shade from the trees. Uh, I'm gonna stop here. It's a one-person bridge. Uh, at least it's not steel. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a Harley Ultra on this thing. Or on a big electric glide or on a Goldwing. This thing's so big. There is not much wind coming at me right now. What is this person doing here? Are you... What? 
is going on with car drivers these days? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I gotta keep it PG for YouTube. But we're literally going... Like when I'm going this slow on my bicycle, I'm just cruising, relaxing. Alright, here we go. Epic OG's probably going... What is that guy doing up there? Uh, are there any cops around here? Uh, no cops. I'm gonna say bye bye to Slowpoke there and uh, move on with our day. Epic OG made that turn. Uh, Epic OG is uh, Epic OG rides a Ducati Panigale V4 around a track at 300 kilometers an hour. So Epic OG is going to make that turn. looking through the windshield. I'm wanting the windshield this high because uh, Brooke is back there and she's probably getting a wind blast right in her face. She reports that she's actually pretty good. So in its high position the windshield keeps the wind off of the rider and the passenger. If you're gonna adventure bug two up, this is the bike. This with the Pooh's windshield. This is an aftermarket windshield, this is not the stock windshield. someone's dog. Looks like uh, there was a lost dog that they were... Good thing they have him. They got a hold of him before he ran out on the road. No train. Oh, sh there is a train. Don, eh? Uh, all right, Epic OG got caught at the lights. Yeah, they, uh, we made it through those lights just before they turned on, but Epic OG was a little behind us, so. Wow, that guy's really blasting that horn. There we go. All right, so Epic OG has gone back to his place on his, uh, scrambler and we are heading home hi inner tubes I'll uh, keep this short so it is my opinion that the Moto Guzzi Stelvio is the best adventure bike you can buy for two up riding why is that well first of all the weight of it actually helps when you're riding two up because 
the weight of a passenger is less of the overall proportion of the bike when the bike is heavier. So a heavier bike rides better with a passenger than a lighter bike. Second of all, Brooke reports the back seat to be the most comfortable adventure bike seat she's ever been on. It's bordering on the comfort of an Ultra. Okay, she's been on an Ultra before. We've rented a Harley before and uh, took it down to Daytona and she found that bike very comfortable. She's been on the back of a Multistrada before. She wasn't nearly as comfortable. The windshield, now I don't have a stock windshield on the Stelvio. I have a Pooj aftermarket taller windshield. When you put it up to the top setting, it keeps the wind off of both rider and passenger. Uh, the stability is great. The power is great. Everything works really well when you have a passenger on and the bike still remains fairly nimble. You can still toss it into a turn. Of course, you're not going to ride crazy with a passenger, but you can still ride with a fair bit of pep. So I'll end it there. Lots of exciting things coming up on the channel. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take Mrs. Spokes out and teach her how to ride. We're going to the parking lot across the street and we are going to start practicing. I want to film all of that. If you want to follow along, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, and continue to follow the channel. It's really appreciated and it will help a lot. So different spokes signing off and may the spokes be with you.